all right welcome again to another session of uh, our video our uh, training session uh, now uh, if you have seen uh, the last video in which i have shown you uh, two pc were directly connected to each other but now this time i have changed it to to one level higher one level higher or uh, to uh, another level you can say i have uh, i have connected this pc not directly but using a hub so that i can show you how uh, once once it is connected to a hub how it is going to work okay so let's start all right let us start and then now uh, start capturing so what do we see here uh, we see there are our requests okay this is uh, some this is old or this is old our request let me see let me see uh, let me give the ip address first of all to this pc okay so this is the pc and now i will give it uh, ip address and i will show you what what is going to happen so what what do you think what what is going to happen first of all let me put the command show so there is again no ip address on it and just uh, just like that it is uh, it is a fresh pc and there is no ip address on it and you know uh, i have just plugged in this pc and uh, connected it and i have started it so now what will happen once I give uh, IP address again, let's see what, what is happening. You see, hub is a physical, it is just a kind of repeater. It repeats the signal or it sends the same kind of signal to on all the all the connected port on it. Okay, so for instance, if, um, for instance, you can say that he, that, that there is a device named as repeater, first of all, let's do it. Let, let's show, let me draw it somehow like this okay so if if there is a pc over here oh, i'm so sorry about this drawing because i'm drawing it with the mouse so this is going to be more bad so it is one pc is connected here another one is connected here and this third one is connected here so it is a multi-port uh, repeated battery basically which repeats uh repeats the signal so the task of it is nothing intelligent it just repeat whatever is coming on this port to the rest of all of the ports okay so it is just uh, sending different copies of the same packet of frame you can say to every device so that is the work of a uh, hub okay so this is how it it, it works so this is how it works and uh, let's see what, what is uh, where it is come on work. okay so th this was our pc okay so now i will be giving it the same ip address which i have given in the last time and let's see what happens so it again it sends a duplicate message a duplicate messages for uh, it is ipv6 so it is checking it is not part of your ipv4 duplication checking is on, on behalf of ip6 all right so otherwise the rest of the thing will be same so again it is sending the same art messages to whosoever connected on the port and you you must see that uh, they, then the all other you know device will get to know that this 192.168 is there and uh, we can verify it on this pc okay so let's see what is i have not changed this one so this was the ip address already here and let me ping it from here to customer a pc1 198.168.0.1 let's see so it, it we are able to ping and which which just shows that this device is reachable okay so you see the request and a response message which is not not anything different from the world what was happening when we have connected these two devices to each other. So hub is performing the same task on different port. That is the only different thing. Okay. So this is how it works with the hub. Now let's go beyond this thing and let, let's put, let's put, uh, 
a switch instead okay so let me delete this thing and then connect the switch and get back to you okay just give me a moment all right so now i have connected the switch over here okay so now now i can show you what what is going to happen when the switch when two devices are connected with the switch all right so let's see this is our wire shut trace from previous and so i'm closing it okay and this is this one is uh, the other one and okay stop capture first of all and then let me start capture again start capture the same thing and let's put it here so the same same thing okay you do not see anything happening anything anything is i mean nothing is happening okay so this is one side this is another side okay two and this is our whole diagram okay so now i will start it again and then i will start this also so let me start both of them and let's see what happened i started both of them and then i'm console i'm connecting to both of them All right so this is how uh, we did the same thing again and just we have changed what we have changed we have changed the hub which was connecting both of this pc and we have replaced it with a switch okay so let me show you what is there on the switch let's see the configuration so it is basically a two switch which is uh, doing nothing much it is just a switch with all of its port as i access so now it means it is also working a similarly in a similar similar way in a similar ma manner okay in the similar manner as the hub works but it is uh, it it breaks the broadcast domain okay so there will be no broadcast send from here from this side to that side okay if if it is a, if it is working as switch then it won't be here okay in the case of hub the word that was with everywhere okay but uh, in our case what i believe is uh, these are access ports okay so all are in vlan one so there is no no broadcast break i mean when you have this is this this is default vlan which pass everything okay so it is in the same VLAN, so the broadcast domain will be also same, so you can see the broadcast. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Let's do it. So first, where is my Wireshark? Here, one Wireshark, then another Wireshark, then this is PC1. Okay, and this is PC2. All right. So show first of all same thing no ip address show no ip address all right again i'm assigning ip 192.168.0.1 here without gateway so all right the, so which see the way i told i told you can be verified from here just by uh just I, I i entered ip address in one side here and what i can see is that the broadcast from 192.168.0.1 has been sent see this is the capture taken in our first half right in our first half on the left hand side and this is the right hand side y shark okay so since the broadcast domain was the same if if the this were in different vlan then the broadcast domain would have been broken and we would not have seen this broadcast in this over here in this if they were in different vlan all right but they are in the same vlan so the broadcast domain is also same therefore therefore 
broadcast is also transferred as similar as the hub. Okay. Now the next thing which we are going to do is let's keep the IP address here. 192.168.0.254. All right. So this is this this we have seen this thing. Okay. Similarly, our requests were sent from this side, and and it told that okay, dear, I am here. So it is saying. That my IP address is this. So if this is the L2 switch, it will it will make a Mac table and it will keep this. This is how your uh, Mac table is built, and it it copies the source IP address and source Mac address into the Mac table, and that that, that is how the Mac table is built, and that is how the switch get to know understand the whole network which is connected to itself and make a database of VLAN and the ports and the IP addresses. And that is how it is constructed and it is used. All right, so let's ping, the, let's do the same thing. Let's ping, uh, ping 192.168.0.254. Okay, let's see, so it is working, all right. Ping request is also working. So perfect. There is no problem in that. All right. So the next thing which we can do is uh, which we can understand now is uh, let's uh, let's change the VLAN for this one. So VLAN ID on port Ethernet one customer PC is one and customer PC this one VLAN let's make it two apply okay now let's see what is happening okay so now they are in different VLAN. okay let's see wow so access they are communicating with each other again even though we have changed the vlan that is surprising actually okay so it has not changed it has not changed okay to access apply no this is not happening let me see what is the problem for one vlan two i wanted it to make two for one vlan two add yes now it's added now it's at okay here is now it's at it earlier it was not okay so let's see if we can we are able to ping it or not yeah here we go okay so now the communication is not reachable not reachable you know why because they both are in different VLAN so let us change this IP address also now let's make it 1.254 okay so now it is it is like this okay so now what you want to do is you you will have to have you will have to have a router on a stick or l3 switch in order to make communication happen so let us take let us take a router here Okay. And now let us connect this router to this place on what is saying 
okay seven all right and now change the configuration of seven to not apply okay and here what we're going to do is this is port number fast ethernet zero slash zero okay file system device is having some problem maybe no problem okay so config t interface f a zero slash zero switch port let's see if it works switch as the y t c h switch no 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 all right uh interface uh, and to z config t interface f a zero slash zero dot okay what we do is we make this also port zero we change it to vlan three okay no vlan 10 maybe 10 will be a good number okay so 10 apply and this one we make it 20 yeah that 20 apply and so no okay 10 add 10 and 20 okay so this is this is quite easy to see and remember all right and let me see what what we can do is uh, to remember this we will make it 20 and here we will make 10 that would be easy to remember that's all there is nothing uh, nothing great happening over here okay so it is just uh, 10.1 and it is just 20.1 so that would be fine that would be very very easy to understand and to remember okay so we have got vlan and now what we wanted to do is uh, create this one okay and ip address let's give 192.168.10.1 100 255 255 zero configure is only allowed if that sub interface is already configured as part of i triple eight zero two i will vlan okay so encapsulation dot one q dot one q what was that it was 10 yeah so 10 is the so this is what we have put for this one and then we will put the same with a different ip address for this one and what will be the this thing is this is the 20 20 dot 100 and this one is and this one is the same command encapsulation so it, it tells the router that okay i'm um uh, i mean This, this shows that uh, this particular interface is tagged with a dot when Q VLAN. All right, let us start this uh, thing, this capture for, okay, I think this is not, this is maybe shut or unshut. We need to do the shut unshut thing. No shut, let's see. Where was the trace? Okay, nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. No problem at all. So here it is show. So I go into phase three. Both are down. All right. So they are administrated down basically. So config T interface FA zero slash zero. No shirt. 
I thought it is a uh, by default. No shirt. Let's see. Let's do show IP interface brief again. Interface brief. Brief, 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 brief. Okay. Let's see. Oh, so no need to go on particular interface one by one and find out uh, or unshirt the sub interface. So once I did it on the past Ethernet 0 slash 0, it uh, came up by default and uh, and that's it. So let's see if this command also show VLAN. Show VLAN works on this device. No. So VLAN is there. So VLAN. Enter. Okay. Here we see 10 dot 0 dot 10. So why don't we see VLAN 0 dot 20? Okay, let's see. Why? 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 Show run. Let's see. So, uh, uh, okay, there is no encapsulation. I have to show that's why you see there is the other one, other part of it is not working. Okay, this one needs to be given encapsulation. Dot one. I don't know. I have put it, but I don't know why it, it was encapsulated. Maybe something wrong okay now that we can see so we lands again and that's that's it yeah so you see when there are two different things when there are two different uh, two different networks to be communicated you need a router to make the communication happen all right so now the result should be we should be able to we should be able to reach each other okay so that is uh, my expected result and uh, so both of the ips are a little bit different so we can change it here and then ping okay so and that's that's it if it works then it's good ah there is no gateway so, okay so here you know you remember in the first video i was trying to put a gateway gateway comes when you connect your device and there is an intermediate router which uh, which don't allow any broadcast to go through it so in that case you need a gateway and our gateway is 192.168.10.100 i believe yes now it is okay now it has broadcast in on this device and what it is saying is you know it is uh, dot one q and on that it has sent this particular message so it's in target message okay so this this thing has happened now and now we would be able to we will be able to do our thing let's see okay that's that's great because now what is the problem because let's see the two other you see here there is no uh, one more the let's see the right one first of all the right one is uh, here so here it is broadcasting please tell me who has got who has 192.168.10.100 so this is what it has asked but in this other one there is nothing like that because we have not put gateway here also. So here also we need to put gateway and that will be 192.168.20.100. Okay, so this is going to be there. Now you will see there is the message will come here. 
let us ping if it is not coming so now we can go here and we do the same thing which we are trying to do and let's see the result yes yes yes, yes. come on come on all right it's still not there still there is some problems so what is our ip address and the gateway gateway is of vlan 10 okay pc1 is connected on vlan 10 right pc1 is connected on vlan 10 let us do it from the reverse direction okay let us first go and see what is the mac table showing show our show arc there is nothing so mac so ip route okay so no no ip protocols okay so m so management so mpls so ip r next enter nothing is there so so ip route huh? so ip route so ip interface d so running so running one fifty interface VLAN ten ten. What was that? What what is this one? Interface VLAN ten first of all. Mm -hmm. So VLAN. So VLAN ten is there. One fifty. Interface VLAN ten. Ah, I don't know. let let me configure it. Okay, what is it? All right. So here it is. Here we have to give the IP address inside this one. Okay, is it config interface? F A zero plus zero dot dot ten okay IP address what was our IP address one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot ten dot hundred two five five two five five two five five two five five and zero so now here it is here the rest of the thing will be now hundred is available so reply is also hundred so there was a request like who has got 100 so that was the question asked by the route by this by the pc or the connection connection to the switch and then from there to the route similarly for 20 we can do it like this and now the connectivity is through and now we will be able to reach now we'll be able to reach what we will be able to reach Okay, so here here we have both of this. So in all of our trays now or in the ping, wherever you want, now you can do this one and you will be reachable because now router on the stick is working fine and this is how the system works. Okay, so that's how uh, communication between PCs happen 
okay it is very critical questions in interview basically and at the time of interview since since i am doing it right now in front of you i can explain it very clearly but in 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 act in reality when whenever it is uh, it is an interview call it is very difficult to make the interviewer understand that this is how these things happen all right so in this video like we have uh, gone two level high uh, using uh, switches and router in order to make this communication happen so the reason for showing this is it is still you know from here to here it is l2 and until here also it is l2 this interface is actually l3 interface and both vlan 20 and vlan 10 is on the same interface and that's why it is called as router on stick okay so this is one method the other method is you know i was trying to create a vlan if on the router which is not possible if it would have been a uh, l3 switch then it would have been possible you can create vlan interface and you can communicate you can make this communication happen all right because both are in different subnet and both are from maybe this customer is same but the two pieces are these two species are part of different vlan so to make the communication happen on this it is a router is required so now in the third video basically what we will be doing is we will create vpws and bpls okay so this is actually pure ip based l2 communication and l3 reply all right but in this case we will divide our device into uh, vlan interface you can say uh, vrf vrf or vprn or uh, vpls or vpws this these are uh, mpls based services which uh, can be used to segregate your customer to separate your customer from one another and to keep the traffic to keep the traffic uh, separate for each of them so which is l2 vpn and l3 vpn so the next video will be on l2 vpn and l3 VPN. all right so thank you for attending thank you for checking in um, I have a good night and uh, keep learning, keep visiting uh, my pages and uh, please motivate others also to subscribe to your colleague and friend in order to get some learning uh, which I'm sharing with you guys. Okay, so have a good night. Take care. Thank you.